Getting into this first game, we got Jojo versus Itango for winners' quarters. Let's see how it goes. Both of them immediately playing within each other's zone, which is interesting. God, that fireball. It's just a scary tool, right? It's not like... Yeah. It's not going to do too much damage, but it helps control the pace of the match. Absolutely. And it's just not... It, that damage piles up. And it's slow enough that he can come up behind it or, you know, create some pressure with it. All right, what do you do? How do you land? How do you land as Ryu? I like that. I like Joji punishing these landings so far. Good use of the uh, fireballs on the ledge. Uh, Tatanga is a big fan of jump up fireball. Oh. Okay. Slightly the wrong way. Could have been a punish, but that's fine. We just reset sometimes. Good. Good, good. use of the side B. All right. What do you do? How do you get off the, off the ledge? You do just fine. Back to neutral. I'm trying to read a jump, not getting it. So paid. They're both just like. It's, it's insane. Yeah, it's not a camping game. It's a patience game because yeah. they're just playing within each other's zones. Like, all right, who's going to throw the first move? That F tilt kind of stronger than I realized. Yeah. But the thing is, jump is gone. Stock's going to be gone with it. Good popping of the balloon by Tatanga. We applaud. You applaud, Tatanga. What do you do? Wow. Good job not rushing any uh, get up options there. Waiting to watch JoJ throw out a move and then react. Love to see it. Wow. No way. What a good aggressive, aggressive recovery. Side B off the ledge is a new one that I've not, that I haven't seen from Tatanga, but uh, yeah, right. And the good uses of the neutral B. Our few is from JoJ. The so, man, uh, Tatanga's coming back aggressive again. Honestly, my reach the point where JoJ realizes and just starts going on the defensive instead. Yeah. But we'll see. What do you do? How do you punish? All right. It is like fair going through the fireball. That's important to know for the matchup. And yeah. good punishing the really side. Really good edge guard. Yeah, unfortunately, three is like you feel like you got to do that side because how else are you going to get back exactly. otherwise? But a character like Diddy, all the air mobility in the world, it will just get over there. Good burst options, too. Mm -hmm. yeah. Good recovery mix up right there. You hold down just for a little bit to make sure your up goes past the mm -hmm. ledge, and then you let go, grab the ledge. But. We're already, JoJ has overlapped Titanga a full stock. But you know, Ryu can just make stocks evaporate. Exactly, we haven't seen a Shoryuken yet. The banana falling on Titanga, unfortunate. Wow. <gasps> Almost dead. How do you recover? Beautifully, Ooh. that's how. That was a good edge guard too. Uh, good use of the banana off stage. Oh, hey. man, trying, trying so hard. Send, you sent it a message, all yeah. right? Look <laughs> it off me. Stop trying to edge me. Get out of here. Yeah. Okay. All right. JoJ just showing showing a mastery of his own character in that set, like, or in that game. That was, it's really interesting to see how far JoJ's able to push Diddy's advantage state. And Titanga's showing, you know, just a few explosive hits can go a long way. But if Titanga's not controlling the pace of the set that JoJ is, and JoJ's showing just how how much of a mistake that is. So. Yeah. It just is going to come down to uh, how well Tatanga can uh, st uh, catch Diddy Kong's approaches. And if he can, he'll win the set. Yep. Uh, but right now, it's looking like JoJ's been able to get through that really strong defense of Tatanga. All right, what happens now? Banana immediately ended up mixing up by going for the side me instead, saying, I'm not going for this banana. I'm coming for your head. 44% <laughs> immediately. <laughs> Just trip on the banana sometimes. It's fine. Interesting. Interesting. Down to down to side B. Showing that you're going to try and press a button instead. Knocking the grab oh, out of the up tilt. Catching the, uh, the banana with the up tilt. These players are pressing buttons. <laughs> when they get you in each other's faces, they are scrapping. Yeah. Okay, all right. Two fireballs. How do you come back? Still aggressively, no matter what. I swear to him, he's just coming <laughs> back aggressively. It's working, though. He plays such an aggressive, defensive game. It's so fun to watch. It's, it's building a, a brick wall, honestly. Just like, yeah. if you try and get in at all, it's not going to work because I think it's got like a left hook waiting for you. It's a lot scarier than a regular brick wall, too, because it throws firewall, uh, fireballs. Yeah, I got to say, I'd, I'd probably stop going into houses if they threw fireballs at me. 
But just like that, you know what? I stopped hanging out with Monkey if they threw me off stage too, so. Yeah. Nah, I'd probably want to hang out with the Monkey more if they threw bananas at me. I make funny sounds and just threw bananas all day long. Like, dang, where are you getting these bananas from? Just holding on to them, they're gonna get moldy. <laughs> Good use of the side B. And now he's got the banana. Good nares. Oh my god. Drawing, although, even if it's not much of what combo tree Diddy does have, Nair is kind of nice. Oh, yeah. All right, how do you keep them in the air? JoJ, uh, or, sorry, Tatanga really needs a way to just kind of keep these juggles and advantage states going, because... I have to wonder if that was STI out of that up smash. JoJ getting far enough away not to get hit by the Shoryuken. Doesn't matter, though. Kill him? No, okay, good down B. All right, I like that. I almost wonder if Pentagon would be getting a little bit more with a little bit less reliance on fireball punishes sometimes than just going for a, a meteor hit, right? Yeah. Because Diddy Kong's advantage and neutral are both so good. Uh, Tatanga really needs to convert when he has these opportunities and advantage. Yep. Good, and good, good catch, yeah. That's what we've been saying, you know, Tatanga's been coming back so aggressively, Church finally picking mm -hmm. up on that. Oh, you're going to jump here. You're going to throw out something. I'm going to hit you with an arrow. Dead. Yeah, that is the classic Tatanga bread and butter. He used that hurricane kick so effectively. I know. And it's so funny, too. You just, you, you're just like in hit sign. You're like, I'm going to hit by the side. Oh, of yeah. I'm going to land in it. <laughs> All right. See, that's a good point of that fireball, you know, when you're on that Catching kind of that jump a little again. Bit. All right. This oh, banana. No. A travesty. Were you not enjoying his fruits enough? Man, and now we're just seeing it. JoJo's ma again the mastery of the character. I think you got to get off this ledge. Oh, there you go. Unbelievable! And Ryu can take this stock if he uh, if he gets his hands on him. Yep. JoJo's ledge trapping is just so good. Good job eating the uh, the knockback with the down yep. bait. I understand, you know, a neutral get up or oh my god, still being aggressive. You don't have to be aggressive. They're off the ledge. At some point, you gotta like oh. oh. Shut up, Look, man. doesn't matter. The Tanga comes on stream. He's gonna, he's gonna swing. He's gonna throw hands. That's why I love watching him. He's True. here to make a statement. All right. You know what? And that's fair. Yeah, absolutely. Hey, and it was a good, uh, it was a good set by both players. Uh, JoJo just kind of got those conversions that uh, Tatanga really just yeah. never ended up uh, getting all the way through. Yeah, we saw a few attempts at this Ryugan too. We really didn't see all the many early stocks coming out of Ryu, and that's one of the things that I'm always most afraid of when I play against. A Ryu is just this fear of like, when am I gonna die? I can die at any percent. Uh, yeah, exactly. That didn't, that didn't really happen. We just saw some clips.